Hello, hello, and welcome to Let's Play Europe Universalist 3 Divine Wind Death and Taxes with your host Shenra. Yes, this is a mod of Europa, and it's, uh, I don't know, it looks cool. The map looks very nice. And, uh, what I wanted to do was one of two things. I either wanted to form Germany. So, play as one of the minor states over here. Like Holstein, or saxe lorenburg or Lunenburg, or, you know, whoever. And, uh, try to wreak havoc on Germany to the point of, uh, having them surrender to us and reigning supreme over the German people. Or I wanted to play as a Muslim state. And I don't mean like a major Muslim state like the Ottomans or the Mamluks or the Hafsids or Morocco or the Jairids or any of these people who have a lot of land. I wanted to play as somebody small like Makassar or Malacca or Atze or Brunei. You know, one of these guys over here which don't really have many buddies. Uh, and the the idea of being a Muslim state over here in Asia is you get holy war causes bellies on everyone because nobody is Muslim over here until you get to the Timurids. Because usually what happens is Vijayanagar will take all this and Vijayanagar becomes, you know, super duper powerful and they reign supreme over all of India, blah blah blah. And the Ming usually hold on to their shit for quite a long time. So you have this gigantic uh, Taoist? No, Confucian. You have this gigantic Confucian power over here, and then this gigantic uh, Hindu power over here. And they just blob each other to death and blah, blah, blah. But the Muslims never really get much power. They always stay pretty weak. They never really do anything. So, so yeah. One of those states would be fun to play next. Uh, uh, but I don't know. I've never done Germany before, and it would be fun to do one of these things. I kind of want to. Hmm. 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 So yeah, why not? Why don't we? Why don't we pick landlocked little Lun Luneburg and be totally awesome with our King... King Bernhard... The first Von Welf. So we're going to be the Von Welfs. How's that sound? <laughs> so in this game, we're going to make sure Lucky Nations are turned off and everything else is on normal except for difficulties on very hard. Let's get in as Lunaberg. And be purple. Because we are fucking purple. So our first thing is a royal marriage with Brunswick. I think we can handle that. There you go. They're going to complete our first mission. That was hard. So, let's look over our kingdom a bit. We are purple, which is just awesome. I don't think I've ever played a purple country before. Except maybe Byzantium. I played Byzantium. But everyone does Byzantium. Uh, let's see. We're very decentralized. We're pretty aristocratic. Uh, we're very surfish. We're decently narrow-minded. Mostly mercantilist. And all these are in the middle. We're a feudal monarchy. We are definitely Catholic. Uh, no real decisions that we can do that look interesting. But uh, the main goal of this campaign is going to be to form the German nation. And you'll notice this is very different from the regular uh, EU3. To, for the regular EU3 to form Germany, you have to have like what is it, eight or nine different states. And you have to have cores on them. And that's it. Once you have those states and you wait 50 years, you get cores you form Germany. That's all you have to do. In this mod, to form Germany, look at this. It says variable claim on Germany is greater than 25. It means you have to have at least 26 German states under your control. And German states is based on the culture group. So you can see this magenta color. All this magenta stuff is German states. So you have to have 26 of these at least. And then once you have 26 of them, you have to also be the emperor of the HRE, you have to have imperial authority of a hundred, and you have to have formed the Holy Roman Empire. So you can't even do Germany until you form the fucking Holy Roman Empire. Now that sounds a little wonk to me. And the uh, 
And I haven't tried it before. So, but the page for this mod, Death and Taxes, you can see the pause button was replaced with the Dex Death and Tax Taxes button. The page for Death and Taxes says doesn't say anything about forming the HRE uh, as a requirement to form Germany. So maybe that's just silly. I don't know. Maybe that means you have to disband the HRE. And I think you can only do that if you're the emperor. You must control the capital of the current emperor's homeland, Bohemia. The elector, Bohemia, is still independent. Yeah, I'm not sure how all this works. I've never tried to dismantle the HRE, but I guess you have to either be the HRE, in other words, form the HRE, or you have to dismantle it before you can form Germany. That that makes sense. We'll have to figure out how to dismantle it then. <laughs> So for now, our first mission is just to get a marriage, and I believe we already sent that request. And this is very interesting. Lüneburg actually starts out with uh, the Hansa as an ally. How crazy is that? The Hansa's got a bunch of allies. Look at this. The entire, you know, little north part of Germany here is allied with the Hansa. That's kind of cool. Except for Laurenburg. We could totally just declare war on Laurenburg, and they'd be totally, totally screwed. Except Bohemia would probably save them. <laughs> so we won't do that. Anyway, we have four more diplomats. And the main thing I like to do when I start games is I like to give access. That way, people won't be declaring a war on you, uh, you know, willy-nilly. Actually, maybe they do in this mod. I don't know. I've never played this mod before. So who knows? So let's raise speed. Make sure our investments are in decent stuff. I don't need naval at all, so just lock that at zero. Everything else looks fine. Uh, stability looks like it's going to tick over in less than a month, so we can lock that at zero. And we'll lock the treasury at zero as well. So yeah, everything else can just go up on its own pace. That's fine. Uh, we are making money, so let's recruit another... Oh, we don't have enough manpower. All right, we'll have to wait then. All right, so let's unpause and get started. Oh, look at all these messages. Uh, royal marriage. Yep, good. And we lost infamy that we didn't have. What's our next mission? Create an army for our nation. All right, so that means we have to build as many troops as our force limits allow. And our force limits is three. So we have to wait a few months for our manpower to get up to 2,000, then we can start building some dudes. But for now, there's just random wars going on that we don't care about. And yeah, this is... I know this isn't the only Let's Play going on with the goal of forming Germany, but I believe it's the only Let's Play going on <laughs> as the state of Lüneburg. And I believe it's the only forming Germany Let's Play that begins as a landlocked one-state miner. So yeah, we have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. I'm surprised we haven't been getting little alliance and uh, royal marriage requests down here. Normally they just pile in at the beginning. So let's see if we can spread our seed a little bit. Get some marriages. Why isn't the music playing? Naive relative. Lose stability or spy defense. Spy defense. Uh, something's wrong. I'm going to save the game because music is not playing and that's bothering me. Yeah, music's listed. I don't know, music's not playing. I'm going to save, I'm going to close the game out, and I'll be right back. So, it looks like restarting was all that was needed to get the fucking music to play. So let's load our game. And... Lunaburg it up. Because that's what Lunabergians do, right? Is that what someone who's from Lunaburg is called? A Lunabergian? Well, whatever. We produce salt, which is fucking cool. And we can do a national decision. Ooh, uh, oh, let's build a second unit, and then I'll try to centralize.
I think as far as enforcing our will upon other people, uh, we're going to have to pick one state miners as our first target. Because look at this. Just just right next to us, these guys have two states. And they've already got 5,000 guys. And they're building a 6,000 guy. For fuck's sake. Oh, f Jesus Christ. And they have four cavalry. Four cavalry. Jeez. And this one state miner's got 3,000 guys already. Fuck. This guy's got 3,000. How do they get so many guys so quickly? Jesus. Anyway, let's do our slider change towards central, because we really need centralization. Destabilized. Who cares? Stability is easy to get when you're one state large. Let's defund our military. There you go. Stability came back in a month. So defund the military. I don't know. Defund it. There we go. And I guess we can just chill for a while. There is not much we can do <laughs> as a one state miner other than nothing. Oh, our chances of uh, succeeding here are pretty good. Let's try sending a, a couple merchants. Let's not go nuts, though. If we're, if we're successful there, we'll try some other places. But when it says 93%, sometimes they mean more like 2%. You know, they're not very accurate in these uh, percentile chances of success. We also need to use our magistrates. What can we use it on? Hmm, bureaucracy. Yeah, but then we'd lose 5% tax. I think we'll wait on that until we've expanded a little bit. Although that will allow us to get more great people, and the more great people we get means we'll have more income. Hmm. Now we'll wait. Wait some, wait some message. We have to have government tech 10, which we obviously don't have yet. So we can't do anything with that, so let's just get some paintings. Let's try to get some money out of those magistrates. And yeah, this is our little, our little empire. We're beginning so small, such small origins. I can't wait to see how this country turns out. I mean, purple? Purple's the fucking bomb. And there's only like three real choices for purple if you want to form Germany. There's Anschbach, which is like a, you know, dark and dreary purple. There's Aachen, which is a bright and fruity purple. And then there's us, which is kind of a grayish neutral purple. Wait, one second, one second, one second. Does our national flag is a blue lion on a yellow background with hearts all over the place? Really? Okay, maybe I picked like the, the gayest state possible. We really have hearts all over our flag. Wow. Guess we love everybody. Alright, let's keep giving access wherever we can. Giving access is awesome. Not getting attacked is awesome. And Brunschwick said no. Everyone else said yes. Well, Brunschwick, you might be my, you might be my first target then, you little bastard. But our first job is to build one more military unit to complete that mission. Oh, we have a a son now. So our current king is five six five, and our son is eight seven three. I like that. Eight seven three will be fantastic. Do we have any advisors we could get? Missionaries, manpower, inflation reduction. Ooh, inflation reduction. That would be nice, but I'm not sure if we could pimp out enough money from uh, minting to even cover his fee. I don't think we can. Oh, uh, we might. That's just not worth it. It's too early for a Master of Mint. Although I could go for some mint chocolate chip ice cream about now. That sounds delicious. Okay, we have a thousand manpower. Let's build another dude. Now the question is, do we want a horsey or a dude? I kind of want the horsey. So let's get the horsey. They're just really expensive maintenance. I hate horses because they're so expensive. But I want it, so I'll get it. And this should complete that mission. Yes, it did. 
So we gained some army tradition and prestige. Now what? Marriage with Mecklenburg. Okay. Done. Now what? Give me a core on someone. Access to the sea. Haha. -ha. Conquest on Stade. Wow. That's pretty cool. So, to do this, we would have to declare war. They're guaranteed by Brunswick, so we're probably going to have to fight Brunswick. And they're allied with Cologne and the Hansa. Cologne I could care less about. It's the Hansa that's a problem. So, we're just going to have to cross our fingers and hope that the Hansa doesn't <laughs> join their side of the war. They could join their side, or they could join our side, but they're allied with both of us. So, if we say this, it says Hansa is very likely to join us. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and move our... Oh, we can't. Let's get access to the Hansa. And then we'll consider this. Oh, wait. Now the problem is they got a bigger army than we do. <laughs> ah, ah, and they're building more dudes. Now they're building a boat. Alright, so we'll wait till we get more dudes then. They have 4,000 guys, and they're all soldiers. So we need one more cavalry, and then we're good. 414 is fine, as long as we have Cav. Well, that's cool. I wanted a conquest, and we got a conquest. And I think that means we'll gain a core. Yeah, we'll gain a core on Stade when we take it. So that's even double benefit, because it means we won't take... Uh, what's it called? Okay, if you... Let's say we attacked Altmark, we took him over and the war's over and we're all at peace and stuff, the HRE leader can still demand that territory back from us. And if we tell him no, then we lose stability and we lose taxes and we lose... Uh, we gain uh, revolt risk and it's just a lot of bad shit happens uh, when they can demand territories back from you. However, if we conquer Stade, we'll immediately gain a core on it and that means it cannot be demanded from you because it's not considered an unlawful imperial territory. So, this is to be kind of cool. Damn it, he's building another... He's building a cavalry. He's going to have 5,000 guys. Where's he getting all his manpower from? Fuck. Well, let's first send an insult. They're just going to burn some time until we can... Uh, declare war. We need to build some more units first. Hmm. Kind of want alliances with all these people, but they're being tools. Wonder what our maximum manpower is. 1,500. Wow. So there's no way for us to catch up to their number of people. Lame. Damn it, Brunswick. Accept access. Yeah, yeah. Poland and Lithuania, something or other. Damn it. We're going to build one more regular unit, then we're going to have to recruit some mercenaries, because that's the only way we're going to be able to get more people. I really want to give these guys access. There we go. Hooray! And our merchant failed in Lubeck. Because when it said 93%, it really meant 46%. <laughs> Well, whatever. That one dude we have in there is uh, giving us a decent amount of income, so it's cool. Alright, so what's going on up here? I saw a Lunaberg something. Or Larnberg? What did I miss? Luxembourg. Oh, well, fuck that. That's way too far away to give a shit. Liberals are angry. Uh, Revolter or innovative gain one? Yeah, I can handle being more innovative. Thank you. Technologies go faster. That's cool. Jesus, they're building more units. God damn it, Stade. Not cool, man. Well, 
I'm, I'll pause here and I'll come back. Oh, we can build this unit now. Well, I'll pause here and I'll come back when we're ready to declare war. We're going to have to recruit a couple mercenary uh, infantry, probably. So, let's do another horsey for now. So, I'll pause here and come back when we're ready to go to war. Hey, guys. Welcome back. We're almost ready to go to war. We're recruiting our sixth and final soldier. But I'm coming to you a little bit before we declare war because I, I, I don't know what else to say other than Morocco is invading the Teutonic Order. Yes, you see this, right? Ostprosen is occupied by Morocco. And that's the fucking capital. Wow. Go Morocco. <laughs> who, who the fuck would have expected that to happen? Wow. Okay, so let's finish up building this dude. There he is. Group him up. Give him a general from our king. Send them to Hamburg. I also need to note that we gained a few, not a few, two uh, throwaway alliances, mainly Anhalt and Thuringia. And the point of these is to distract Brunswick. Because if you look at Bremen, Bremen is guaranteed by Brunswick. So when we do the conquest, causes belly, you know, they're going to join the war against us. At least it's very, very, very likely that they will. So it'd be nice to have Brunswick uh, feel threatened by these other two countries instead of just by us, you know? All right, so let's get in position. There we go. And let's declare war. Call our allies. Haha, -ha, let's see who joins. Anhalt joined it. Brunswick joined it. Cologne joined it. Thuringia joined it. Everyone joined it. So it's currently four countries on our side versus three countries on their side. But I'm pretty sure as far as force limits, it's pretty even. 16 and 20 versus 11. Okay, maybe it's not so even. <laughs> the Hansa is just huge. Well, at least they're on our side. So let's see if we can take uh, Stade here. Oh, who joined? Augsburg joined. Cool. Frankfurt joined on their side. So now they have... Now they outnumber us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's uh, do this siege. Oh, I forgot to pay my units. derp -a derp Sieging without paying your units is difficult. So let's do the siege while we have the Hansa's support. Ecklenburg joined against us. Ouch. Almost there. One more month and we'll have this. There we go. Alright. So let's annex Lüneburg. I mean, <laughs> we are Lüneburg. Let's annex Bremen. Ah... Wait, why isn't music playing? God damn it, it happened again. Hold on, I'll save here. Music isn't playing. Alright, so we're back in and music's playing again. Okay, speed time back again. Not sure why that happened. That's the second time that's happened in this video. It's only the first video. Alright, so the Hansa's going to kick Cologne out of Bremen. That's fine. I think we'll we'll just kind of sit around and, and uh, start it. And just chill, you know. Or maybe we'll go to Han. Let's go to Hanover. Attack. Create a proper fleet. Uh, so our naval force limits one. All right, let's build one ship. There you go. Protect against Mecklenburg. Mm, we'll think about it. Mecklenburg's got seven thousand. We got six thousand. So we have to build two more units if we want to complete that mission. We'll think about it. So since Brunswick is the leader in this war, uh, we only have to, if we conquer both their territories, we'll get 100% in this war. So that'll be a good way to end this war, because we got what we wanted. We got Stade.
now it's just kind of a race. If they can get our two territories before we get their two territories, then they win the war. So let me speed up time. Oh man, we're full of magistrates again. Magistrates. Ooh. Oh yes, let's get an infamy reduction guy. I'm not going to use him. I'm just going to let him get purchased by some other country. And let's do a little sieging. Do a little more sieging. Next month we should get it. Yes. Alright, now we need to replenish a bit. So let's go back to Stade. Mecklenburg wants peace. They want us to pay them money. No. Oh, the Hansa's fighting for my capital. Thank you, Hansa. Alright, so we have 100% in this war already. So let's see. Maybe vassalize them. Oh, yeah. That'd be epic. Vassalize them. I don't care about all your other alliances. We're just going to vassalize them for four infamy. And take all their money. Awesome. Epic. That is a great start to this campaign. Let's go back to our capital and just kind of chill. And we can unfund our troops now. That war is over. Oof. Man, that was an effort there. But it all worked out in our favor. And because we gained a core on Stade, we don't get the unlawful... Uh, what's it called? Unlawful Imperial Territory. But we will when we annex uh, Brunswick, which will be later on. So I'm not concerned about it just yet. But man, that's nice. We have a vassal. So we need to get an alliance with these suckers. Cool. Perfect relations. We have an alliance. We have royal marriage. And they're decent sized military power, too. Did we get our name yet? No. Damn it. We need to get our name across these lands. <laughs> uh, we have four diplomats. We're making 20, 23 gold a year. What's our army force limit now? Nine. Cool. So. Oh, we don't have enough manpower. Ah, alright, so we'll just fast forward a bit. We're gonna have to give these guys access again. And I hope we get another cool mission like that. Uh, like the one to conquer Stade, Stade or whatever. Because that really helped us quite a bit, man. Alright, Brunswick has access. We'll also get access. There we go. Oh, wow. Papal State won a war against Naples. Look at that. Go Pope, man. And he already annexed, uh, what's it called? Florence. Wow. Nice job, Pope. Yeah, so we do actually have four alliances right now. We're allied with the Hansa, our new vassal Brunswick, Anhalt, and also Thuringia. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Keep give, giving access to everyone who borders us. Actually, I don't care if Magdeburg attacks us. Go for it. Production research flawed. Uh, we'll lose the stability. Because it comes back very quickly this early in the game. With a country this small. 
Should be next month, looks like. Yep. Alright, so we have more than a thousand manpower now, so we can recruit some more dudes. What do we have now? Four... Oh, that's right, we're not funding our soldiers, so they're not replenishing, so we'll fund them for now. So we have four soldiers and two horsies. So let's build two more soldiers and a horsey. It'll just take some time. But hey, I think that's... Uh, did we finish our mission yet? Oh, protect against Mecklenburg. Oh, we'll do that eventually. But I think that's a good place to, to end this first episode. We had a successful war against Bremen. Got a great um, mission to conquer them. So we didn't take any... Inf well, we, we took two infamy. But we got a core on them right away. That's fantastic. We could even kick off their core if we wanted to, but no, I... I don't mind having other cores on there. And we got a new vassal in Brunswick. And they have more units than we do. So if we, we go to, next time we go to war, they're going to be conquering stuff for us. Ooh, man. That's going to be nice to have. All right. So, hey, that's a nice start. I hope you guys uh, uh, enjoy this. And if you want to keep following this, just subscribe or, I don't know, leave a message. Tell me if you hate this or who cares. I mean, it's, it's purple, man. We're fucking purple, Lunaberg, man. Gotta love it. See you guys next time where we try to expand a little more. Bye-bye.